Hey everybody, welcome back to another limited edition Games Wednesday video. And today we are back with a two for one because we have the latest release from Super Rare Games, which again is one of those companies that does very small runs of indie games in a physical format for the Nintendo Switch. And of course I love them. I have every game they've put out thus far. We also get the collector's cards. I need to get a collector card binder. Um, and I buy booster packs so we can see if we can get complete sets, which we've had fantastic luck with so far. So fantastic that we are due for a failure. And as a matter of fact, the last game they sent, Wolverblade, I love that game so much and I got lucky because they accidentally sent me two of them and they haven't asked for it back. So I got that if I ever need it for trading for something I may miss in the future <laughs> or just hooking up a great friend. But that said, we're gonna jump in here. We're gonna see what this is. We're gonna look at the packaging, the manuals, that kind of stuff. And then we're gonna do a little bit of a let's play on the video game. And then I'll do some more let's play of that over on my Patreon channel. Some of it may be for free or it might be behind the Patreon peeps wall which is only a dollar a month. You can always support me with more money if you want, but at minimum a dollar a month, you get to see everything I do over there, which is a lot more video games. So if you like that about what I do, definitely check it out. Plus I have other cool stuff. That said, this is definitely a two for one. I got the one with the slip cover and I don't quite understand how these go together, but maybe we're gonna learn together or maybe we won't. So we're gonna rip into this puppy and see what we end up with. Definitely got one copy of the game this time. That's fine. Hopefully I get all my booster cards. That is a problem. Oh, no it's not, I'm just dumb. All right, we got all the booster cards, yay! <laughs> and good, I'll be able to tell which are which. So we're gonna set those to the side, and we're gonna set those to the side, and of course we get the Super Rare Games card with all their social media stuff on there. Plus, of course, I have links in the description below if to that and my Patreon if you wanna check it out. Sorry, it's new over on Patreon, I'm having a good time. I'm trying not to over promote it, but at the same time, I gotta promote it a little bit. And of course, we have the two tribes, 2001 to 2019 Mega Pack. And uh, looks like we get the Toki Toki or whatever sticker on that side. And then on this side, we get the Rive? What was it? Oh, I had it right. Tor oh, Toki Tori and the Rive sticker there. And I know a lot of people hate this, and that's pretty cool. They didn't have to put a sticker there, but they know some people want that. I'm okay with ripping through this one because I get the bigger ones. I'm sorry, I know that breaks some people's hearts but it is what it is. And you can buy these individually. Um, I don't know by the time this video comes out if they're sold out or not. I know the two pack is sold out, but you can still get the games as of filming this. Now, that being said, we get the big full sticker for Rive, and we get the big full sticker for Toki Tori, which totally gives me an Angry Birds vibe. Now, these are the booster packs. Whenever you order a game, you get one card pack actually included. I always buy the extras for other reasons. I'm gonna set these to this different side so we know which ones actually came with this. That just makes it a little bit more fun. We're gonna take a quick look before we take the shrink wrap off. So they've definitely kind of combined all the art styles of both. And this, of course, not coming from the Nintendo of America side of things. They are able to put their numbers on the side, which I really appreciate. And I really don't understand why Nintendo of America won't let all the other companies do that. But it is what it is. So Toki Tori, oh, there's gonna be some cool stuff on here. An unreleased demo? Oh, this video is gonna take me forever to play though, because it looks like I've got a bunch of versions of this game to play through for you guys. So I'm glad I'm opening this early enough. I'll have some time to do it. But now we gotta get this silly shrink wrap off so we can see this a little bit better. There we go. Try to do that without bending in the corners too bad on anything. And I thought it was gonna be just an actual slip case, so kind of disappointed it's a box box. Like it would have been nice to slide them out the slide or slide them up and down. So uh, a wee bit of a disappointment there, but not too bad. Plus I've got a nice little crease there, which is a bit of a bummer considering it was the same price or maybe even cheaper to buy these together, but it being kind of a collector's edition as a two pack, I would have liked to kept those in better shape. But all things considered, it has to go through customs and all that stuff, so. Pretty happy with how that turns out. Here we go. I may have creased that slightly. Oh, I tore it slightly. That's all right. Again, not a collector for value, just a collector for having cool collection. Oh, we got something extra. We got the games in there and then an empty box. So I'll set that to the side. Let me just check this real quick. Just wanted to make sure there was no uh, codes on here that were for me. So this is very interesting. Is this like history? I don't even know what this is but I kind of like it. It's kind of maybe a history of what they were doing or the companies that made them, I guess. So two tribes, that's why they fit together. It's a, it's a gaming company 
is what it seems to be. Bear with me. I, mean, I go into this stuff blind, meaning I know nothing about it before I get into it. So if I'm saying something incorrectly or whatever, you can definitely let me know, you know, politely. So that looks like a list of games that of the notable game releases and unfinished games. So that's an awesome little bonus. I don't know if that comes with the single games or not, but that's really nice. Now we have the two games. Just a real quick look at them in the plastic before we go looking around all of them individually. And let's start with Toki Tori, game number 19. So we're gonna pop through the plastic here. And again, these should come with manuals. So I think I got a plan for how we're gonna do this. So we got Toki Tori Collection. Doo, 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 doo. Which of course is Super Rare Games number 19. And here's some stuff on the back. So we get the Game Boy Color version of the game. We get a revamped update with new graphics music and tons of exclusive levels. That's cool. And we even get Toki Tori 2 Plus, almost 12 years after when the sequel was released. All right. No wonder it says that, those years. So that's very cool. And on the inside, yes, we do get this. And we get a nice, uh, it's not really a reversible cover, but we get some nice like concept art inside the case. So that's cool. And we get the physical cartridge. Now, because of the way this is working, we're gonna look at this right now, and then we're gonna play some Toki Tori. Then we're gonna come back and look at the Rive. So you may need to skip ahead if you don't care about the gameplay footage, which I totally understand. I'm not for everybody. I'm totally a gaming casual. I talk too much and think I'm funnier than I am. So I totally get it. <laughs> but if you like cringe, cringe is my comedy. So there'll be plenty of that, I'm sure. Super Rare games pretty much always come with little manuals or art books or something, and that is fantastic. One of the, my favorite parts about getting a physical release is actually having a manual, especially if it shows you the, the, uh, the play controls, which I'm not sure this one does, but this does have a lot of interesting reading information, and I think it's gonna be a fun little thing to kind of check out and learn a little bit about the history of everything. And again, hopefully I'm going just slow enough you can pause if you need to. So if you really wanna read every detail, and there you go. So, before we do the cards, the cards will be at the very end of this video, but now, let's go play some Toki Tori. Let's play. Okay, so it looks like we got a two-parter here, so I'm gonna play some Toki Tori, and then I'll stop somewhere, and I'll play some more of that for Patreon, then I'll come back to a little, a little bit of Toki Tori part two, and we'll see what we think about these. Um, so first, let's see, you know, the first question. Any downloads? Nope, it looks like it's complete on cart, which is great. Both those games are on the one cartridge. And then, of course, we'll play whatever the other game was. <laughs> Sorry, I'm shooting this like days after I uh, filmed the unboxing. So hopefully this one will be a little bit of a shorter one since it's kind of a late start for me tonight and I need to get a lot of games going. So, uh, but you know, I already kind of like the vibe. Everything looks pretty good there. Colorful, fun music. Bunch of worlds, each world, okay. All right, so we got a little bit of Mario. We got some hard levels here, interesting with some bonus levels. All right, we're just gonna start on normal from the very beginning. Toki Tori needs your help. He needs to collect all the missing eggs. We help him out. You need to know the nitty gritty details on how to control Toki Tori. Uh, Morty, cons consult the controls item in, in, in the pause menu. Morty, op open the pause menu by pressing the, the plus button. Morty, good, good, good luck. All right, I'll try not to do that too much. That's a lie, I'm gonna do it a lot. No, I don't know that really. <laughs> Actually bring up that screen. I guess I'm ready. It definitely looks like a gorgeous 2D platformer. Yeah, I'm ready. Where are we starting? Okay, what can I do? Nothing yet. Oh! There's a rewind button? I don't... Okay. What do I do? So both of those are rewind buttons. That's... Interesting. Triggers don't do anything, I just move. Well, how do I jump? I collected an egg, okay. Can't like down jump, I guess I can crawl up this thing. And come down here. I probably should have gone up that one thing. Nope, I see, okay, I see a pattern emerging. Controls are almost a little too basic. Wait, that was the level? Uh, okay, I guess we'll do another one. <laughs> that was way too easy. Toki Tori gets, uh, use a, gets to use a variety of items during his travels. Using these items is the key to help Toki Tori collect all the eggs. 
Togitori packed an infinite number of bridges for this level. What? All right. Uh, to build a bridge, you just stand on the edge of the platform and build the bridge in the direction that Tokitori is facing. Trying to build a bridge in an impossible location will make icons appear that show you why the bridge cannot be built. Happy bridge building day. Okay. Yeah, I'm ready. Let's just do this. Alright, so... How do I... How do I build without you? Ah! Well, I don't want to do that. Because I need to go down there. Uh-oh. Hold on. Let's rewind. Oh! No, not that much rewind. Okay. No, I want to... Cheese. Cheese and crackers. Well, how do I... No! What? Can I unbuild? Nope. Nope. Right there. Why is it... Sure, let's just start over. <laughs> so I want to build one here so I can cross that and then get down here, it looks like. Okay. And then I'm going to want to build one across here so I don't have to deal with those fools. I see, said the flea. And we cleared that level. So this is a bit Angry Birds. -ish. This is a bit simple and simplistic. We'll do one more, and then we'll maybe jump to Patreon. It is possible to get Tokitori stuck in some levels. This happens to be one of them. You can use the rewind feature to go back in time and retry. Yeah, okay, we already, we figured that out on our own. Let's move along. Yes, I am ready. Where am I starting? I'm starting there. And I got a thing coming after me, so I gotta be careful. So we wanna get this. Uh-oh, I need to move. Wait, how do I get down to that guy? Ah! Uh-oh. Yep, yeah, he's stuck. Nope. Nope. Ah, ha, aha! I figure out the buttons. We'll go to that guy last, I think might be part of the trick. Just don't want this thing coming at me. Ha-ha! Okay. Right, now we just go back around. All right, yep, simple puzzles. I'm sure these puzzles get a little more tricky as we move along. Oops. And we clear a level. So I think that gives you an idea. Obviously, it's going to do some more, but if you want to see a little bit more of this, you can jump over to Patreon. Um, but we're here in this video. We're going to jump on over. Well, first, we're going to we're going to see what happens if I hit like start buttons and oh B. We'll go back to B. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I guess it auto saves. Yes, it does auto save. All right. Well, I'm going to go uh, play a little bit more of this for Patreon, but you'll be jumping into Toki Tori 2 right about now. Okay, so uh, Togitori did get a little bit more challenging and introduced a teleportation and things like that. I'm sure it's going to introduce more along the way, but now let's check out a little bit of Togitori 2. And I'm guessing there shouldn't be a download. Uh, I could be wrong, but yeah, okay. <laughs> Pardon me. So this is definitely part of the Two Tribes collection. And A. A, B. A, B. A sings, B butt bumps. Oh, B drops me faster. This... <laughs> this is definitely a different game. This is wildly different. Okay, yeah, this is like way different. Did I get the thing? Nope, alright. I bet I... I guess I just go over here and beat it? Uh, alright, achievement unlocked splash screen. Okay. What? I don't know what's happening, but I'm running from it. Um, hey chicken, you hear us? We forewarned this. Make us sick in the stomach. Get going. What? 
Oh, I need him to go back. Ah. Make him fall. Okay. So, I guess I want him, no, I don't know. I don't know if this has the rewind feature either yet. Hey chicken. Cheep, 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 cheep chicken. Your progress is saved automatically, have fun. I like the first game a little better. I'm not gonna lie. The first one seemed a little more interesting in its challenge. Oh, okay. Do I have any control over this? Whee! Frongo Folly 2. Oh, am I supposed to do something? Yes, supposed to bubble, okay. All right. Yeah, it's weird how, like, different this actually is. Do I need to go up here for some reason? Ah! Okay, except I missed a puzzle piece, so I'm going back. Do not get the rewind feature on this one. Hi, can I go for a ride again? Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Bird Guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, Mr. Frogman, can you eat the thing? No, that's my bubble. Uh-oh, I done screwed it up. Frogman. Yeah, there you go, now give it to me. Bubble me. Bubble boy. Yeah, I mean, you know, I don't know. No one here but us chickens. Cheep, 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 cheep. Yeah. I mean, it's colorful, it's interesting. I could probably get behind playing this. I don't know that it's as like just awesome as I was hoping it would be. It's almost a little sim too simple. Or at least right now. I mean, obviously the other one kind of picked up its run as well as it went on a little bit. Yeah, give me that bubble. Okay. Oh, no, I'm not gonna do the party. That's. Hey, over here, buddy. Bubble me. Bubble me, bud. Bubble me, bum. Bubble me, bum. What are we doing here? Oh, he's bringing the frog. Nope. Burr. Well, he didn't send me in the right direction. There we go. That'll do it. Drop. And that looks like a thing. What does that do? Checkpoint? Or... Oh, I should have grabbed those puzzle pieces first. All right, so now we're on to kind of just a normal old little Mario thing. Huh. All right, well, I think that's a pretty good taste of Toki Tori 2. Uh, if you want to see a little bit more of this, I'll play another level over on the Patreon video that continues this video. And then we'll come back in a split second for you all, and we'll play the other game. Or maybe it happens between... I don't remember how I unboxed it. Whatever, you'll see what the second game. So, <laughs> thanks. Bye. Okay, so hopefully that was as fun as I think it might be. I have no idea. I record the games after I open them. But now we're gonna take a quick look at Rive, and we're gonna do just like we did with Toki Tori. And then we're gonna go play some of this. And again, if you like either of these playthroughs, there will be a continuation video or two over on my Patreon. And then there's always at least one continuation video, but if it's a game I absolutely love, then I make more of them, of course. But, you know, I, I am a Switch game collector, especially of the physical games, so I get a lot of stuff, and it really has to wow me to keep me playing. <laughs> Which I understand might madden some people, but that's just how it is. That's just who I am. That's just what I do. So, Rive Ultimate Edition. And as usual, like I like to say, this is pretty much going into blind to this game. I'm, I know nothing about it until I play it. 
And it's nice to be up to release number 20, thanks to uh, Beat'em Ups, who I actually got to play some Friday the 13th with, and he was kind enough to let me follow him around and teach me some things. Um, I, uh, he's, the, he's why I found out about Super Rare Games right before they launched, so that was very cool. That's why I have all of them. <laughs> and you know what? Screw it. Shout out to RGT85. I got to play with him that same game, and he's awesome too. And those are definitely my go-to uh, Nintendo or video game video watchings. So we got another manual. We get some awesome art on the inside. The art on the cartridge. And I've seen that guy in the front cover. He definitely leaves me with some questions. So I'm anxious to check this game out. Now let's take a quick look through the manual or art book or whatever it is. Sometimes you're not entirely sure. Try to leave you that space to hit that pause button. Be kind, rewind. Kids back in the day. Oh my God, I feel like Bob Sagan on How I Met Your Mother. Kids, let me tell you about how back in the day, there was this thing called rewind fees. VHS tapes were literal tape and you had to rewind them when you got to the end. And if you took them back to the video store without rewinding, they would charge you an additional fee, even though they had these machines specifically built to rewind cassettes in under 60 seconds. It might've been like 90, but still, we had to make our money where we had to make our money. So this manual is not nearly as fulfilling or thick or interesting as the Toki Tori, but maybe the game's more interesting. There's only one way to find out. Let's play. Okay, so this is gonna be a long one, I guess, because, well, not that long. Luckily, Toki Tori didn't take too long, but now we're gonna play some Rive Ultimate Edition. This also includes Swap This, I did not know. And uh, it's great buying games, but on a day I decided to start doing my um, game capture late at night. It's like, ah, uh, surprise extra games. No, I want to go play other games. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to quit whining. And I'm going to see if this is complete on cart or not. Super Rare Games is pretty darn good about it. I know Limited Run Games tries their best, but sometimes they just get a little screwed over by developers or something happens. Shouldn't say screwed over per se, but... This is a long load screen, long load screen, long load screen, long load screen. Doop a doop a doop, doop a doop a doop, doop a doop. Feel like maybe I'm supposed to solve a secret puzzle. Nope. Two tribes, one cup, Sonic Picnic. Part two, the revengeing. I do like the graphics on this, you know, the, well, the designs. Press any key. Uh-oh, any key. Thanks for booting Rive. Oh, thank you for booting Rive Ultimate Edition. Only on Nintendo Switch, you can play together with a friend in co-pilot mode. One player moves, the other attacks. If you die, the rules are reversed. Enjoy the ride. Was this like a shooter kind of thing? Check the settings real quick. Controller, blah, 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 that's all fine. I guess we're gonna do a little campaign mode. Uh, yeah, regular mode is fine. I'm a regular guy. We're gonna play on normal. I know easy mode. <laughs> Sorry, as, as I'm joking about it, there's like a whole Twitter thing about easy modes today. I'm not even awake yet, bruh. <laughs> it's like Muscle Man grew up. You know who else isn't doing too bad? My mom! <laughs> uh-huh. Stuff is happening. Typing. Unnecessary reading. I just go ahead and yell. I just say, okay, we're getting on. Those beers are wearing off. I'm gonna go get some vodka. Maybe after these games. Oh, stuff's happening. Okay, oh. Oh, is it? Oh, it's a. Oh, it's a twin stick shooter. Okay, I am no good at these. I am pretty awful at these. Oh, I probably don't want to get exploded. Ugh. Okay. Yeah, these take like concentration and focus. I don't have either of those things. Actually, I'm kind of digging it, to be honest. <laughs> At first I was like, no, I don't want this. Is that not something I, oh. That was a practice run, that was a practice run, okay? All right, I didn't even realize what kind of game it was. So, we're gonna try again. All right. 
trying to get all the big points. And now we know. Oh, I don't want to get hit with those things. Okay. So I actually want to get ahead of that. Oh, now we know. And knowing's half the battle. My finger definitely wants to slip. Ah, that was painful. Oh no, okay, well I guess I don't really have to get ahead of them. I just have to get like in the thing here. Okay, in the cut. Kind of reminds me of Jet from uh, Cowboy Bebop. Hello, gravity, my old friend. What am I supposed to do here? I can jump with my light thruster. Oh. <laughs> okay, that was kind of fun. I don't. Go away, robot. All right, I'll just open the door. All right, I'm gonna let you open the door. Until next time, angry man. Angry man. So it's okay, twin stick, and it's but it's also like twin stick Metroid, or like a Metroidvania shooter. That's crazy. I guess I want all these bubble things too. They seem to be. Uh oh. What have I done wrong? Ah, double jump. Thank you. Oh. Damn, my finger wants to. It keeps sliding off the R stick. I'm not really trained to like have to hold the R stick down. I don't play a lot of these twin stick style shooters. All right, let's see. So I probably need to double jump to get up here. Oh, R. What am I doing? Am I hacking it? Ah, there we go. I just wasn't close. Cameras. Wee. Okay, this one's a lot more fun than Toki Tori 2. <laughs> Which can be a problem because I'm gonna want to play this longer than I probably should tonight. Ooh, it's deeper than I thought. That's what he said. Oh, I see. I've got some hacking to do. They call me Hackman. Not in range. Let's get over here. Oh, that one's busted. So what? Do we, okay. Well, then we need to go... Ah! I didn't think I could get through there. Hey, there's a fuel station here. Almost out of kerosene. Oh, do I actually need to worry about, like, ammo and stuff? Oh! That one hurt a little bit. I guess I can't go here without protection. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. It's a warp system. Woo. Outdated model though. So okay, so we A. Seems like I just activated it. I'll record its coordinates. Okay. I guess that's it here. Let's move on. Okay. Am I allowed to run through those lights? They're not gonna hurt me? Alright. Gotta break all the shit in here. Are these crates what I think they are? I don't know. Why can't I shoot them or take them? There's an upgrade machine here. Well, isn't that special? What do I do with these things? Yeah, none of my buttons are doing anything. Actually, I'm gonna turn this game up a little bit. It's a little bit quiet. I guess we'll go over here. Base station? I may be able to get it back online. All your stations are belonging to us. Okay, well, let me go that way. The action's cooled off a little bit. Aha! Falcon attack, let 8,000 guided missiles bloom, or, well, seven. I guess I'll buy that for a dollar. Useful, and I'm not even being 
being sarcastic. Well, good. I'm just gonna Next go ahead and cancel. Time, upgrade machine. Next time. Oh. ZR. ZR, ZR. Oh, so is that my special attack? Oh. Hello, little baby bat robot things that I'm going to now kill and eat all of your children. Oh, jeez, what did I do? All right, this is actually pretty cool. Not gonna lie, I'm liking this. Of the three, this is the best one thus far, for sure. Woo! Oh, we got a, we got a thing. That I need to be paying attention to dodging missiles. And I'm out of my Z uh, triple rocket things. Oh, fuck. Oh, they're heat seeking. Hoo 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 by the skin of my metal teeth. Oh, look at all that lovely, lovely, healthy stuff. None of it was actually healthy stuff, though, so that's a bit of a problem. Can I move forward now? Yes. Yes, we may. Oh, but why did we? Because now that happened. Yep. All right, well, this is fun. I'm going to play some more of this over on Patreon. So if you want to uh, see me play maybe another 10 minutes of this, you want to jump over to the Patreon video. And then we're going to come back and play a little bit of that one other game. Sound good? Sound good. It's all right? It's all right. Be right back. Okay, so we got one more. Swap this. I spent too long in Rive on the other thing. It was fun, and then it got super challenging, and I started to hate it, and then I beat the challenge, and then I loved it. Uh, I think it'll be way cooler as a two-player game. One focusing on the movement, one focusing on the shooting. But uh, now let's check out this game, whatever this is. Swap this. Plays best on the touchscreen in handheld mode. Too, too bad. It's much faster. If you really want to play on your TV, you can now connect a Joy-Con and use it as a pointing device. I'm not doing that. Oh, but it wants me to. It, has, it turned off my Pro Controller. Yeah, and then I turn it on and it does like the connecting thing. That is oh, fine. That's stupid though. But I'm like all tethered in and I have to, it's not easy getting over to my stuff. I should have a Joy-Con on standby, I guess. All right, let's see if we can pull this one off the console here at an awkward distance. We got it. All right, Ugh. fine. Hopefully I just need one Joy-Con because I did not get the other one. Place the Joy-Con on a flat surface to calibrate it. Okay, I did. Are you kidding me with this? There we go, I don't know. Uh, to center the cursor, point at the screen and press the up. Center, point, no, point, wait, what? Yeah, that feels pretty good, okay. I, I don't like this. I don't like forced motion control games. Am I doing something? No. So already major points against for being a forced motion control game. Uh, but we're, we're just gonna do a little bit of this, so let's go with minute match. Hopefully it's only a minute. My arm is already tired from pointing around. Here we go. Uh, score as many points as possible before the timer runs out. How do I score? Connect four ice cubes any way you like. Free the creatures. Oh, I see, so I actually have to point and swap. This would be much faster on a touch screen, but I can't, I'm not really set up to capture touch screen. Actually, I love that uh, Sean RGT85 has been doing a uh, handheld capture as well. I know how to, okay, oh, you want me to do it. Oh, I see. Oh no, I just need to continue, okay. <laughs> All right, uh, poop. Uh-huh. Time start, yeah, great. No, I don't wanna, oh, what? Mute you down here, mute you over here. That should get me four, looking for another good four pattern. Here's a good purple four. So this is just a bejeweled style thing. Um, yeah, basic as basic can be. What am I doing? Oh, I did connect four. They connect in the L patterns as well. That's right, okay. Uh, I don't know. Can we swap you to there and then swap you to there so we get that L going? We can uh, swap you down to here. Get that L going, we can swap you over. That's not what I wanted to do. Swap you to there, 
swap you up there. There's a pattern. Uh, uh, my eyes are sleepy right now and I'm having trouble. Uh, we're gonna move you down to there. We'll move, oh, move that up. Oh, I can do that pretty quickly. Okay, good. Yeah, I know I'm nice. Halfway through the timer, yeah, half time, cool. Move you there, move you there. Give me something, give me something more interesting. Move this yellow guy there. What, what did I do? I don't know what that said. Swap, swap, swap. Mop, mop, mop. Plop, plop, plop. Plop, plop, fizz, fizz. Oh, what a relief it is. And it's gonna put some purple together maybe. Do they fall or do they get replaced, don't they? All right, we'll put you there. That opens those guys up. While that's happening, we'll go ahead and swap you over to here. So that can go down like that. We'll go ahead and move you up to there. So we'll start setting that up uh, for a potential swap. We'll move some green. Oh, God, I didn't realize I could. Okay, so you can move more than one spot. Oh, I can move anywhere on the board. Oh, that would make life so much easier if I paid better attention to that. Can't swap those, okay. And two, one, yeah, okay. So you get the, you get the sense of this. Um, I think that's probably good enough, right? So we're going to uh, go back to the unboxing now. <laughs> Thank you for putting up with this. If you want more, definitely check out the Patreon channel. It might be free. I don't know until I post those things, so uh, do check that out. And uh, back to the unboxing guy. All right, so hopefully that game was awesome as well. And again, a quick reminder, if you want more of it, we have it over on my Patreon, link in the description below. Obviously my friend codes are down there too for the Switch and my other consoles if you wanna join me. But now let's see how we do with these card packs. So, unless they've changed things, every time there are five different cards per game to collect. And again, I've been very, very lucky lately getting full sets. They all have the same card backs. They all have this to protect the privacy and let you know what the card pack is from. Now we're gonna start looking. So of course we get card number two of five with the boxed chicken. So that's pretty cool. And then we get card number three, sketch TV era redesign. That's pretty cool. And we have number four of five, the full 3D Toki. So that's where those begin. So now I'm gonna move over to the purchased bonus packs and recognize that we are looking for cards number one and number five. So we're gonna start with this pack here. These are the add-ons I did. I always just add on two card packs for every game I buy. And usually that works out for me. On occasion, I end up with a full extra card pack I don't even need to open, which is fun for trading in the future. So again, we have the mystery cover and we get card number two, so that is definitely a duplicate. Card number four, uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Okay, good, good, good. Ooh, I like card number five. Card number five is pretty awesome, to be honest, so. All right, so, so we need to get card number one out of here for this to work. Fingers crossed, everybody, hold your breath. Don't really hold your breath, because I don't know what your breath is like, and I don't want you to die. Come on, baby. Here we go, we get, hey, we got card number one right off the bat, woo! Ding, 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 ding. Hit that slot machine sound effect. We have a full collection of cards. And then we get a bonus number four and a bonus number five, which I really appreciate. So that is awesome, sweet deal. Cuckoo, I don't know why I said cuckoo, I guess because of birds. Now let's do the Rive card packs. Can success strike again? I don't know if they've set this up where maybe just if you order like I do, you always get five. Let me know, how do you do these? Do you do these? Do you do extra cards? How's your luck been? Definitely let me hear that. I would be very, very curious about other people with this. So of course we have the Rive cover and we're gonna start with number one, Rough Shot. Yeah, baby. And we've got number four, the Kamikaze. Cool. And number five, which is always the most beautiful of cards, because it's usually an image from the game. So that's very nice. And we're back to the card cover. All right, ah, booster pack number one. Here we go. Dun, 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 dun. Wait, 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 what are we looking for? I forgot to do that. We got card number one, we got card number four and five. So we're looking for two and three. Here we go. Oh no, we got card number one. That's okay, that's okay, it's early, it's early. Card number three, woohoo! 
Ooh, spider tank. Spider tank, spider tank. I'm not gonna sing anymore. Oh, and card number four. Oh my God. Unless I did that wrong. Never mind. I got too excited too soon. We already had a card number four. I thought maybe we got five cards without opening the uh, the second pack. So, or the third pack. Okay, what are we looking for? We got one. We got. What do we got? We got one, we got three, we got four, we got five. We need number two. I am so due for a fail here. I am so due for a fail. Let us find out. Come on, card number two. And we got another card number one. That's That doesn't bode well. It's the same card we started with in the other pack. Yes, we got card number two. Woohoo! Ding, 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 ding. Now I can do it properly. We got a full set of both cards, and I'm a very happy camper. And then we get an extra copy of card number three. So almost a full double set, honestly, other than uh, number two. I guess I could say that about both. But there you all go. That is the Super Rare Games physical release for the Two Tribes Mega Pack, including Toki Tori and Rive Ultimate Edition. Hopefully you've enjoyed that. Hopefully I've enjoyed that. Hopefully you're going to come over and check out the Patreon. Whether you support or not, you can follow without, and I do put out, I'll always put out plenty of free stuff because I know not everybody can even afford a dollar a month. I get it. So let me know. Geek out with me in the comments. Are you coming over? Do you like these games? Which one was your favorite? Have you ordered them? What do you think? Let me know. I'd love to hear your thoughts. So definitely comment below and give me some fun reading to do. Other than that, you can click that thumbs up button. Give me that good old thumb of encouragement as I do love to be encouraged. And now I'm going to get out of here because I got a lot of games to play. And then I'll open up some more stuff and I'll see you all later. <laughs>